So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino Workwatch, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Multiplayer Season Freaking 3. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 most powerful class setups and weapons to use within Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer for public matches. Uh, this has been a heavily requested video just because I've seen so many of you guys, you know, suggesting it in the comments. The last time I did this was actually in the beginning of 2024. And with season three, there are some guns that got buffs and nerfs and everything. And I just thought I'd give you guys the best guns to raise your KD with, get the most consistent nukes with, and have the most fun here within Model of 3 multiplayer for public, public matches. And if you're looking forward to some ranked play classes, don't worry, that'll either be in one of tomorrow's videos or one of Friday's videos. So this isn't gonna be a ranked play vid, uh, but I will be doing that as well. But yeah, if you guys are excited to see my ultimate class setups and see what consists with them and kind of see my mindset when it comes to building my classes, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Here on this channel, I upload high kill nuke gameplays every single day, as well as some tips and tricks and best classes in between. If that sounds good to you, or you vibe my personality, definitely stick around. I just wanna be here to help you guys in any way that I can, and of course, also entertain you, which I think is more important, because I think you guys should have a good time watching my videos. With all that talk out of the way, let's go ahead and move things forward here. So here, we got the SVA 45 starting things off, but I wanna give you guys my general loadout really fast. Uh, so for my secondary, I always use the Core 45, and it's with these attachments specific, the Sonic Suppressor, the Slate Reflector, the 40 round drum mag, XRK Lightning Fire Trigger Action, and the Tactical Grip Cover. It, you're just able to control your ammo a lot better, and has a really, very, very competitive time to kill, even against some of the other SMGs in this game. And I'm actually going to suggest something. As you guys can see, I finally have access to the Compression Carrier, but usually I do use my comms vest, where I actually use the field upgrade of Medbox, as well as uh, EW padding and uh, mag holster. I just know if I'm gonna run compression carrier, these are gonna be the three perks that I run and the lethal being the Semtex because it's the most popular one for me. Or maybe I even might change the drill charge because they recently buffed that. But that's pretty much how my loadout is looking uh, so far. And I haven't used compression carrier yet. I haven't you know, gone too much uh, testing with it, but it does give you a quick fix and that is very beneficial to helping you become a better player. So if you're wondering what I'm running here, it's pretty much this, or I might switch out EOD padding for mag holster. But I think EOD padding is just a little bit more useful because you can shrug off lethals a lot better. However, if I'm running my comms vest, then I'm running the med box. And the reason why I run the med box is that since I don't have that faster healing from the compression vest, you know, that quick fix healing, this is the next best thing because when I put this down and I, you know, get the, the med box, you know, usage out of it, for the rest of that lifetime that I use the med box in, I actually am gonna have a faster regeneration speed. The default regeneration speed by default is five seconds. And with the med box, it turns down to like 2.9 seconds or three seconds. And that two second difference, it's a world of a difference after every gunfight in Modern Warfare 3. So it might not be instantaneous like quick fix, but it's pretty damn near close to it. And then obviously, tack mask is in here. I use mag holster, so that's what I rock when I use comms vest. Just wanted to point that out. But that's enough of me talking about my general class setup. That's pretty much what I use on every class in this game. But let's go ahead and give you guys the ultimate guns with attachments for the first gun here. And that's going to be the fastest killing AR of the SVA 545. Starting things off, one of my favorite suppressors in the game is the muzzle, the shout strike suppressor, just because it keeps us off the mini map every time we shoot and we get no downsides from it. Another muzzle you can use in other, you know, guns if you wanted to, you can use the Jack BFB for ultimate recoil control. Or something that's kind of in between is the Zem 35 compensated flash hider because it also shortens your radar ping so you're not on the minimap that long and you get vertical and horizontal and firing aim stability sort of recoil control. So you're gonna be even more accurate with this gun. You won't be completely suppressed, but you'll be semi-suppressed. And there's other amazing muzzles in between, but those are the three best ones. But Shadow Strike Suppressor is usually what I use. The underbarrel on my SVA 545 is most often gonna be the DR6 hand stop. It gives me that to fire speed and ADS for you to bring up the gun faster and give me a faster China kill, which is applicable to any weapon that I use. And we get more straight speed with the aim walking speed, as well as more movement speed. This is how I get more, so many more kills because I get into more engagement and I also have the ability to run away from engagement in case I need to heal up. The stock here that you gotta use on the SVA is the main V6 stock for that recoil control and gun kick control because with better accuracy, you're gonna have a faster time to kill because less bullets are gonna be missing your opponents. And for our rear grip here, we're gonna be adding on with that gun kick control and recoil control that firing aim stability because it keeps the gun a lot more steady and makes you extremely accurate for farther ranges. And lastly for our magazine, we got the 45 round mag so we have as much ammo as possible for multiple opponents that wanna get in our way. 
And we're not, not rocking the 60 round mag because if we run the 60 round mag, then we'll have more movement deficits and I don't want to really deal with that. Either just have the 45 round mag and still be relatively snappy. But there you guys go. That is how I'm rocking the SVA 545 Hero Fin Model for 3 multiplayer. It legit is a very killer, amazing weapon in the game. It looks clean. And like I said, it has the fastest kind of kill. So if you're able to get the first couple of shots of this gun, like, you know, downtown, and you're able to just, you know, master that accuracy, you know, with that hyperburst, you're going to be eliminating the opponents like crazy. So definitely rock it well if you have the accuracy. Moving right along, I'm going to give you guys the best battle rifle, which is now going to be the SOA Subverter class because the Basby got a very considerable fire rate nerf that might kick you out of the awesome meta class here. So let's go ahead and show you guys my ultimate Subverter class. For the muzzle, we got the Shadow Strike Suppressor once again. It's the best suppressor for reasons I've already explained. And like always, the underbarrel being the DR6 sand stuff is just too elite because it gives you ultimate movement and movement is very key in this game. For the optic here, something you're going to see me run a lot is the jack glasses optic because we get that cleaner sight because the iron sights are kind of ugly on this gun but we also get that firing aim stability comboed along with it so we can be even more stable when we shoot this gun and be more accurate such a great optic in my opinion next up we got the stock of the hrt lo precision stock for the aiming auto sway firing instability and gun kick control so this will help the subverter be a ton more accurate for those farther range kills or you can even stick to the motion b2 heavy stock which is also going to give you recoil control and gun kick control, but it doesn't give you that firing aim stability, which I think is a lot more important as well as that aiming auto sway at times. And lastly, for a magazine, we want to have as much ammo as possible for multiple opponents, even though we're going to be moving a lot slower, but we kind of made up with that for the DR6 hand stop. We're rocking the 50 round drum mag for as much ammo as possible. And there you guys go. That is how I love rocking the SOA subverter. This is legit the best battle rifle in the game now, in my opinion, just because the Basby has kind of lost prominence with that fire rate that it got. The only downside with this gun, as you guys can kind of see, is that it is kind of hard to control the recoil control. So if you wanted to, you could also just change the underbarrel and put on the, the uh, what's it called? The Bruin Heavy Support Grip, because this is gonna make it take care of all the horizontal recoil, but you are gonna be considerably slower. But as you can see, a lot easier to control this gun. So up to you how you want to rock it. The subverter is still pretty solid. Next up, we're going to be showing you guys the ultimate sniper and the newest sniper to come in this game, and that's going to be the Moore's Sniper Rifle. Starting things off, we got the laser of the Ephesus OV laser, which is going to maximize our defensive fire speed and ADS speed, but also our aiming stability. So when we're aiming down sights with this gun, it's going to be completely stable. And by being able to bring up the gun faster, we're able to get those one shots into our opponents way quicker. You know, that's what it is with sniping. We got to get our one shots in. Next up, we got a special optic that's only available on the moors at least from what i know of and that's going to be the moors dot sight i think you unlock this sight and you can put on any gun but it basically is like an elo sight on this gun and it looks pretty clean obviously you can use this or the jack glasses optic for that uh you know firing aim stability but i think we have enough stability and the dot sight is super clean next up we got the stock of the super light 90 stock this is basically no stock for the sniper. It gives you a ton of sprint to fire speed, movement speed, aim walking speed, and ADS speed. Pretty much all the movement things that you need is on this stock, and it's the best stock to use. And for a bolt, of course, we're gonna be rocking the quick bolt because it's gonna allow us to have a faster fire rate, allowing us to shoot this gun way faster and reload it faster, essentially, so that we can have a faster time to kill. You know, faster one shots and follow up shots and sense. Now, this is something that I think is completely overpowered and very unique to this gun, and that's gonna be the ammunition of the HVP anti material slug. No other gun in the game has this sort of uh, attachment, and it just boosts your damage and lowers your bullet velocity. But that bullet velocity lower is only 15%. It says uh, it boosts our damage by 20% on every single part of the body. And the reason why I say this is because look at the legs damage. You can one shot by shooting this gun to a person's legs. And that's what makes this sniper the best sniper in the game. Cause all you need to do is just hit your shot. You see that? I hit them on the freaking shin and they die. As you can see there, I'm legit hitting them like lower chest or whatever, and they, I'm not getting hit markers. Like, you will not hit marker with this thing, which is kind of a crazy thing to kind of see. And, like, I, I just I just have no words with <laughs> how powerful this is. Like, I'm not getting any hit markers at all. Whereas, if you didn't have this ammunition and you tried to use it the more this way, uh, you would get a hit marker down there. As you can see, you get a hit marker without the ammunition hold on I didn't hit that shot but you can see when you have the ammunition on 
you can hit the, the lower legs and you'll still be able to one shot, which is kind of insane. So this is the way you want to rock the moors. I haven't used it yet. Like I, like I, like you guys can see it's still level one. But when I put out my video tomorrow, this is most likely going to be the meta class. Uh, and of course, I got to use the conversion kits, but I don't think the conversion kits that good on this gun. It's much more of a novel, novelty than anything else, but this Morse is dangerous. Moving right along, we're going to be putting on my ultimate favorite SMG, and it's going to be the WSP Swarm. And for the muzzle, of course, we're going to be using the Shadow Strike Suppressor. Keeps us off the minimap every time we shoot with no downsides. The underbarrel in this case is going to be the Kimura Seraphic Vertical Grip, because not only do we get movement speed and aim walking speed, but we also get that gun kick control and vertical recoil, which the Swarm has a whole ton of vertical kick. So we definitely needed this to control this gun way more effectively. For the stock, we're putting on the stock that gives us the most recoil control, and that's going to be the Ephesus Fortress Heavy Stock, because the biggest weakness of this gun is its recoil control. And controlling it more effectively is going to help us melt faster. Rear grip is going to be the Marauder grip, and we already have recoil control kind of covered, but we also need that firing game stability, and that's what the Marauder grip is going to provide for us. And lastly, for the magazine, I really like the 100 round drum mag. This gun's an SMG, so even with the movement deficit, we won't feel too slow. But if you do feel a little bit sluggish, you can run the 40 round mag or the 50 round mag, but I'd rather just spray and pray, especially with how fast the fire rate is on this weapon but there you guys go this is the ultimate swarm class my typical you know usual swarm class and for an smg i mean it's really easy to control you know relatively and a farther range them, you got 100 rounds and you can just body fools next up i thought i covered the most accurate ar here within mw3 and that's going to be the good old mcw as usual, the muzzle is going to be the Shadow Strike Suppressor to stop the minimap and not really deal with any downsides. The barrel in this case, though, is going to be the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel because not only do we get bullet velocity and range to make this gun melt faster for the ranges and have a faster time to kill, but we also get that aiming out of sway and firing aim stability so that this gun's even more stable and more accurate than what it already is. Underbarrel is going to be the DR6 hand stop for all the movement benefits that I've detailed before. Rear grip is going to be the RB Claw PSL grip because I really like that firing aim stability and gun kick control and recoil control making this extremely accurate. And lastly, our magazine is going to be the 40 round mag. I'm not putting on the 60 round drum just because I don't want to deal with any movement deficits, but the 40 round mag is just 10 extra bullets and it's going to help us with multiple opponents. And there you guys go. That is how I love rocking the MCW. Some of you guys might like the stock of the RB Regal Heavy Stock. Just get a little bit more downsides with it, but I do like this because it does make the gun considerably accurate. Uh, but I think it's accurate enough with this class and I just feel comfortable when using this thing. I mean... It's the ACR, it's the MCW, like, what else do I really gotta say? Like, it's a bit easy mode with this gun, so, yeah, rock and roll with it. Next up, we got the ultimate shotgun within Modern Warfare 3, and that's gonna be the good old Haymaker. For the muzzle here, we're gonna put on the SAMX50, just because it gives us the least amount of downsides, and we're still able to two-shot our opponents, and remain off the minimap while we silently body them, which is always funny. For the barrel here, we're going to put on the Imperator Long Barrel so we can get our two-shot, you know, time to kill at farther ranges a lot more effectively with that extra bullet velocity and range. For the underbarrel here, I really like the Bruin Bastion Angle Grip because what we're using with this gun is just hip firing. We're hardly going to ADS just because hip firing is a lot more effective with this gun and that's what this attachment kind of helps with. And to give us a ton of movement, we got to put on the No Stock mod when it comes to the stock, giving us a ton of speed to fire speed, movement speed, ADS speed, and we're able to bring up the shotgun as fast as possible and make our opponents rage. And lastly, of course, we got to put on the aftermarket part of the Jack Maglift kit. It allows this gun to have the binary trigger action and allows this gun to just two shot and three shot and four shot at super far ranges. And I don't really got to explain myself. I mean, this thing is just the uh, spam central. You know, make sure you're, you're within distance and you can body people from pretty far away. It's a fun shotgun. Just look at any of my videos where I use this gun and uh, have a fun time. Next, let's go back to another SMG and let's cover the good old HRM9 Elite SMG. Muzzle here is going to be the Shadow Strike Suppressor S, you know, for obvious reasons. The barrel here is going to be the Princeps Long Barrel because it's very similar to the Cyclone Barrel from the MCW with that bullet velocity and range and aiming out of sway and firing instability being accurate and powerful. But we get the addition of unique iron sights that make this gun look very clean and able to get some farther range kills with a lot more ease. The underbarrel in this case is going to be the Kimura Seraphic Vertical Grip for that vertical recoil control as well as the extra movement speed that we get from it. The stock that I like using here is the folding stock because it makes this gun super accurate with that recoil control, gun kick control, and firing instability. So this combined with the effects of the barrel and the underbarrel will make the HRM9 really nice to use at even far ranges, making it feel kind of like the Graw from MW19. 
And lastly, we got the 50 round drum mag for maximum ammo so that we can body our opponents and not have to worry about reloading way, way too much. And there you guys go. I mean, it's the HRM9. I've used this in videos before, and this thing is legit incredible. Like, this and the, the WSP Swarm are very neck and neck when it comes to uh, their versatility for me. I just prefer the WSP Swarm for the, the higher magazine, but this one, very accurate for an SMG. And will definitely destroy your opponent. Next, we're gonna be introducing the BP-50, which is the perfect hybrid between an SMG and an AR, being pretty much destructive at all ranges. The muzzle here is gonna be the Shadow Strike Suppressor for obvious reasons. On the barrel is once again the Kimura Seraphic Vertical Grip for obvious reasons. The stock here is gonna be the Moat 40 stock, so we not only get gun kick control and recoil control, but we also get ADS speed to be more snappy, and aim walking speed to straight left and right a lot more quickly, so this kind of just gives you a little bit of everything. And for our comb here, we have the Reliant 9 comb for that sprint to fire speed and ADS speed to be even more, you know, snappy with the gun, and we get ammo reserve, which is nice. And lastly, for our magazine, we got the 45 round mag, because there's nothing else you can really put on here. Uh, in the future, there is a conversion kit that's going to give us a 60 round mag for the BP-50, so when that comes out, put that on, and this gun is going to be absolutely lethal. But there you guys go, this is my BP-50 class. Legit, it feels more like an SMG than an AR, and I think that the conversion kits can prove that, but uh, with this, you have very little recoil, and you have the power of an AR, and you got the movement speed of a freaking SMG, bro. It's, it's really nice. How this gun feels, the strafe is sweet. One of my favorite guns in the game. The gun is just nasty. Just a 45 round mag though, that kind of brings it down. Next though, we're gonna be giving you guys my ultimate MW2 SMG class, cause I made a video on this recently and it really proved to be powerful. And that's gonna be the Lockman Shroud. So for the underbarrel, we're gonna be using the DR6 hand stop for all the movement benefits that we get. We're also gonna be running the ammunition of the nine millimeter sub OP. So we get no enemy skulls when we body opponents and we get target flinch on the opponents a little bit more as well so that their gun kicks a little bit more and if they engage with us, they're gonna be missing a lot more of their shots. Optic is gonna be the Jack Glasses Optic for a little bit more precision and more stability. The stock here is gonna be the LM Stockless mod, which is basically the no stock for this gun. It allows us to have a ton of sprint to fire speed and ADS speed and movement speed, so we could be really speedy while using this weapon. And lastly, our rear group is the Lockman TZG-10 for that gun kick control and recoil control so that when we run this gun in semi-auto mode, we'll be extremely accurate. And that's what I mean, when you rock the Lockman Shroud here, don't run it in burst form. Make sure you press L on the D-pad, you know, press L, turn into semi-auto, and you will be able to be just destroying your opponents with this gun. It's actually super dangerous, and I uh, highly recommend this SMG. It has the second fastest time to kill in semi-auto mode, and the only faster killing SMG in close ranges is the WSP Swarm. And lastly, I wanted to throw in an LMG, an MW2 LMG at that, and that's going to be the Sakin MG38, because this kind of kill profile is kind of crazy. For our first attachment, we actually have the muzzle of the Zen 35 Compensated Flash Hide, because when I put on the Shadow Strike Suppressor, it doesn't help us with recoil control, and this gun needs some recoil control help, so this helps us with that, and we get to stay out the map a little bit faster, which is pretty sweet. The barrel here is going to be the 355mm HGS 55, so we can bring up the gun faster at the ADS speed and be a little bit more snappy. The underbarrel is going to be the Kimura Seraphic Vertical Grip for more movement speed, and we get more recoil control out of this as well, so it's going to be accurate and more mobile. Our optic here is going to be the Jack Glasses Optic for obvious reasons. And finally, the rear grip here is the Step 40 grip for that recoil control and gun kick control. And there you guys go. The Sakin MG38 just pretty much shines in terms of its tiny kill. It has like a faster tiny kill than like almost all the LMGs uh, in MW3. The only one that it actually beats is like the attack eradicator. And that's only when you get the first couple shots off. As you can see, this thing just melts, has very little recoil. And if you're able to just kind of master it, it's super freaking dangerous, so. Try this gun out, you might be surprised by how powerful it is in this game. There you guys go. Hopefully I didn't talk too much and uh, really show the support on this video because usually when I make these videos, they don't do all that well. I see in the comments people want to see me do multiplayer class setups and not like rank play class setups. So that's why I did this. So hope you guys enjoyed and if I see the support, then I'll definitely do it again. But if the support isn't there, you know, it kind of deters me from making a, a video on this topic. But hopefully this helps you guys. And uh, let me know what your favorite classes are. Like I said, there's so many good guns in this game. So there's obviously some SMGs, LMGs, ARs that aren't on this list, but I'll make videos on in due time. Anyways, keep being awesome. Drop a like, subscribe, if you need to turn on those post notices. And uh, more Sniper tomorrow. Let's go.